<laughs> it's an actual end. I thought I was just going to go back. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll just go back in here. <laughs> there, there was an ending like that in the first one too, I think, that I, I never found. I didn't even know what a Tommy was. I thought it was like a restaurant or something. Some, some type of food. Just fast forwarding here. Um. It's okay. You don't have to say it. You want to rub these soft things, don't you? No, I wasn't. Oh, fine. Just for a bit, okay? Here you go. I moved over to the receptionist and began vigorously rubbing both of her earlobes. They were softer than I expected. Are you okay? What are you doing? When I returned to where I was, Iris was looking at me as though I was the scum of the earth. What is it you wanted to tell me? Two days ago, we were talking about the people who went missing after seeing Bats 490. Well, the same thing started happening with the people who saw the QR code video. What? I read about it online this morning. Many people have gone missing since seeing that video. Rumors say that the missing people are being rounded up in one location, and they're all getting murdered. Or they're being put into a simulation. You there. Which is what happened to us when we watched the video. Is what you just said true? Huh? Y yeah Who the hell are you? Don't get one step closer! Th that's right! What are you trying to do to Tessa? Sorry to bother you. Uh, okay. And they're gone. What was that all about? Um, about our discussion. Oh, right. Did someone you Love know it. go missing or something? <laughs> so, no, it's not that. So weird. It's just a rumor I found online. Tama, how many people have gone missing lately? About 1,700 people have gone missing this week. It isn't particularly higher than usual. We already went over this, didn't we? Mm. It's like 300 more There's than usual. something paranormal going on in the HB case after all. Like half a corpse teleporting from another world. And people going missing after watching a video. There has to be some sort of supernatural phenomenon happening. Could be. She doesn't look tired at all. She's truly a professional. Not tired after the recording. Why are you here? I told you I just happened to be here. I just so happened to know Tessa's recording schedule. And I thought she might be thirsty after recording, so I got her a drink. In other words, he was waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Ota. <laughs> Fire! Hot, hot, Tessa! Shipping! Freight, crate, Tessa! Airplanes! Height, flight, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! You bet! So now... People have to remember two names? I can hardly remember my own name. Why are you here? I told you it was a coincidence. For some reason, Tess, I know, A set's recording schedule happened to be in my PC. I figured it was a cyber attack by a rival gang, so I came here to scout things out just in case. That's a huge stretch. He was probably just waiting for her. Thanks for everything, Mr. Kumakura. <laughs> Shopping! Cart, Mart, Tessa! Gaming! Bike, Sprite, Tessa! Account! Check, collect, Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASET! You bet! <laughs> Let's get out of here! I agree with Tessa. The occult are involved with the HB case for sure. Right? Yeah. I mean, Nice is a part of all of this, right? Where did you hear that? It's all over the internet. Nice is a big proponent of the simulation theory. 
Oh, and I didn't know this a few months ago. I learned all this recently. If you think about that theory being correct, then the case makes a lot more sense. After all, we are living in nothing but a simulation. And such programs always have some glitches lurking under the surface. Coincidences like this are a manifestation of such glitches. Proof of imperfection. Ota is definitely a glitch. Proof of the seams. Definitely a seam. Oh. Winksick? Tessa! Tessa, Tessa, Tessa! <laughs> Tessa! 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 <laughs> what a waste of electricity. <laughs> what do you mean? That was totally worth it. Let's ask Oda about the simulation theory. The simulation theory. theory is probably true. There's even proof. Proof? Take a look at this. Oda pulled out several photos from his pocket and handed them to me. Doesn't this remind you of something? Like those nameless mob characters that show up in video games. You know they reuse assets to lower production costs. Oh! No. This is probably like the people just in some the background. Sort of coincidence. Like some synchronicity type thing? That per but that's what okay. Proof. okay. Okay, this is all coming together. Synchronicity? In a nutshell, they're basically meaningful coincidences. For example, when you talk about someone and they just so happen to show up in front of you. Or when you hear the same word over and over from a bunch of different people. That kind of synchronicity. It's supposed to mean that there's a message behind it. A message from who? Well... Someone. Oh, Bats490! The number was 4901095 that we entered into the thing. Synchronicity. Synchronicity. I'm just looking at my notes there for a second. Because Oda, you know, can only look at Oda for so long. About the other photos. Do you still think it's a coincidence after seeing this? If you consider this stuff that can't be explained by science as a glitch in the simulated world. It can't be. Calm down, Ryuki. These are obviously doctored photos. Y yeah, you're right. About the paranormal and simulation theory, Iris. I just thought of something listening to Ota. You can explain any paranormal phenomenon using the simulation theory. UFOs, Umas, ghosts, superpowers. If this world is a simulation, they'd all be possible. Yeah, whether it's a glitch or alterations made on purpose, whatever it is, it would all make sense. What do you think, Boma? I'm no expert on paranormal and occult stuff, but I know one thing for sure, so I gotta warn you. You should back out of this investigation. What do you mean? I don't know much about that nice group, but... There's definitely a real dangerous organization involved in all this. If you get too deep, you might end up dead. Word's spreading in the underground. If the cops investigate any further, they'll make them disappear. Seems like the rich and powerful from all over the world are involved in this too. You piss them off. Who knows what they'll do to you? Rich and powerful? Could Mr. Sachima be involved in this too? Sachima? You mean the former politician guy? Yes, so Sejima. Oh, but don't worry about it. I just saw him recently, so he popped into my head is all. Wait, you met with So? Yeah. Why? Because he invited me to his house. For what reason? Uh... He said he happened upon my videos online and thought they were interesting or something like that. Are you okay? He didn't do anything, did he? Not at all. We just talked for a bit. Uh, okay. Iris doesn't know So Sejima is her father. Oh. Or the fact that he was involved in the murder of her real mother, Monica. Yeah, the people around her have been protecting her from that information. Fortunately, Iris doesn't really watch the news either. But in any case, the media hasn't found out Iris is Monica's daughter. Uh, oh, oh. 
Oh, that was a big... Now, let's get going. Dump of, of information there from the first game. Have much useful information here. Yeah, but something has been bothering me. I'll keep what I heard here in mind, just in case. I have to wonder why the camera, like, defaults to this type of position where, like, there's this whole, like, empty space above. Like, I would put the camera like this, put them in the middle of it. Yeah, it's a style thing, I guess. He looks extremely out of place here. He does. <laughs> um, let me just see that, what, what we missed there. Trivia thing. After the new Cyclops serial killing, Sosajima's life as a politician ended. However, what So did wasn't technically illegal, so he hasn't been arrested or charged. He still has tons of money, so may not be a politician anymore, but he still holds tons of power. Oh, the masked woman has an entry now. A mysterious person appears to be female based on body shape. What if it's Phi? Ota. 24. Cook at Matsushita Diner. Light novel author. Self-proclaimed. Likes A-set and chocolate. Dislikes enemies of A-set. People who lecture. Hobbies. Internet idols made cafes. Up until recently, he was unemployed, but he now runs Matsushita Diner. After finding out Tessa likes the occult, fresh up his knowledge on the subject. Close with Mizuki, Kazuna, and Amame. The receptionist. 36. Uh, likes yellow spotted river turtles, Atami. Dislikes men that act like ballers, but are really scrubs. Hobbies, slots are the way to go, baby. Skills, anti-aging techniques. The receptionist at Lemniscate. She loves a man with a deep, gravelly voice, you know. She's totally in love with that shiz. Kind of has an upset stomach lately, which sucks. She's preggers. Oh. What's your favorite torture tool? Bull of Phalaris. Do it. You like listening to the cries of people on fire? That's tasteless. I actually have no idea what, what that is. No, we, I'm not close to done asking the questions, E. Curious about everyone else's answer, so I will go on a journey to the other world line, E. I'll be going now. So he went off on a journey after becoming a respectable adult. Depending on how you raise it, you might be able to meet new eyeballies. You can view eyeballies that you raise in the picture book. Right, so we have restarted. Um, bitter? Let's go all impish, so we went crazy to go down, right? Also, we didn't look at this evaluation. Class up! Priest sink our class to C1. We got the mermaid and cat paws and tail outfits. We're amazing. It's all because of you, the viewers. Thank you so much for the support. I was able to reach the C1 class one. Let's go to the garden. It's time. Huh? Ryuki, why are you here? To question people for the investigation. Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Oh. Yes, I find it quite soothing, and it energizes me. I'm just tagging along. That makes sense. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. Mind if I kick your ass? <laughs> 
Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. See, look at all this, like, empty space above. There's a big tree here. A slide. There's a clock on the slide tower. It's a jungle gym. Oh, gym. It's Iowin's dormitory. It swings back and forth on a spring. Playground steps. Pansies are in bloom. I see seesaws on the seashore. A swing set. Why do you call Mizuki Big Sis? Did we already ask her that? Ah, uh, we did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was nine years old. Another girl? Not your relative. Nine years no, old. No, we were not related by blood. We were the same age, but I referred to her as Big Sis. She was so beautiful, collected, and dependable. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. But we talked about this before, mm, but... I see. Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? Is she not with you anymore? When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. You're close with Mr. Date, huh? Indeed. We have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, I have been showing my gratitude with home-cooked meals or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for whatever reason. Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. As we continue to interact, we have come to form a sort of mutually beneficial relationship. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. Are you a- She was pretty direct about it. Computer program? Yep. That old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic candidate. <laughs> About the questioning. You mentioned you were questioning people. Is someone here related to the case? I'm here to talk to your father, Mr. Richi Chieda. What? My father? Yeah, I heard he's here. He is, though I believe he is currently in a meeting. I see. Then I guess I'll wait until he's done. Uh, I don't think she wants us to talk to him. Just a gentle smile on her face. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. How are you? It's all right now. Because Half might. I am here. Half might. W what? You just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. But I'm always like this. Though now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. Wait, where are you looking, perv? Huh? You brought it up. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Yeah. Doesn't it hurt? No, not really. It's from when I got shot by the new Cyclops killer. But I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Aww. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. So what is it you wish to discuss? F father And who is this? Mr. Ryuki from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I see. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Kuruto Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department. May I ask you some questions? That's fine, but I don't have much time. I would appreciate it if you're quick about it. You're Mr. Ricci Chieda. I presume? Indeed I am. An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation. You're also the chief director of Iowen, and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. He obviously doesn't respect us. I mean, 
He is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. I don't respect him. A police him. officer is probably like an aunt to him. Do you know about the case? Of course I know about it. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. I've suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. As a citizen, I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Ugh. Do you have an alibi? What were you doing two days ago? February 11th, around 8 p.m. And on February 9th, at 6 a.m. What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes, well, it's only a formality. <sighs> I see the police have no problem wasting people's time. Well, fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. That sounds made up to me. On the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Kyoto doesn't sound like a real city. I just checked. Made that it's up. telling the truth. Oh. He was spotted on surveillance I know cameras Kyoto's a real each city. location. Oh. Um... About Jin. Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? Of course I know of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. I checked. He and Jin had practically no contact with each other. Does that mustache ever bite you? Oh, Tokiko. Who's that? The president of Nye's Japan. Nye's? I'm not familiar. Lies! I've never even heard of it. How could he have never heard of it? But your relationship with Chikara? Well, he is the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. He was quite... well, an eccentric individual. And? I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. You seem to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. However, I gain nothing from his death. I have suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. In other words, I am a victim as well. And you suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. Seriously, what is up with this Shouldn't guy? he be happy that we're tracing, if like... he didn't have so much authority, we could pin something on him That we're looking at him. all leads? That's what police are well, supposed to do. Well, hold on now. Oh, Chikara. I understand you are the majority shareholder of Horidori Institute. As the de facto owner of the Research Institute, I'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information. What are you trying to say? I explained the information about Chikara that Tama had obtained. About the dubious research that he had been conducting. About the rumors of human experiments. And that his research facility was forced to shut down nine years ago. Along with the fact that Chikara disappeared in order to avoid being investigated. Wait, nine years, is that... And that the current research institute was built after the heat from that incident had settled down. Wasn't nine years ago when something happened to her sister? Did you know all of this? I did. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. Why did you decide to fund it? The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. That research had a great deal of value and potential. Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people. Or maybe... Precious to me. Shikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. Maybe it brought it's hope not to related. humanity itself. It's certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues. And I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. I don't know why I just assume everyone's words, evil. <laughs> I invested in the future that Research Institute could bring us. It's the mustache. Tama, is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? Oh. No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself but either. But his daughter... His only daughter is completely healthy. What? 
and his wife, Kizuna's mother, oh. passed away long ago. It's not an actual sister that she's talking about, but someone close to her from nine years ago. Mm -hmm. What is it? No, it's just... Is this your first time here? Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Big Sis is very popular among the children, and she is great at keeping them entertained. I... I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Any friend of Kizuna is welcome here. Ryuki, I just looked into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. 23 years ago, a child in their care went missing. What? The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. Uru Somazuki, that sounds familiar. Somazuki went missing 23 years ago. Twenty-three years ago. Just making a note here. Uh, and they were nine, right? Six. Sorry. Or six. So they would be twenty-three years. Sorry, I didn't really. So they would be uh, twenty-nine now. You are you, Uru. Interesting. Interesting. We're twenty three. Two. Jin is 29! Mm -hmm. Twenty-nine. All right, could be Jin then. How much wealth you have. There is a limit to the people you can save. How powerless I am. Perhaps it's necessary to be accepting of help wherever you can get it. About Uru something or rather. Mr. Chieda, there's one more thing I'd like to ask. What is it? It's about Uru Somazuki. You remember him, don't you? Yes, I will never forget. The Iowan missing child. That's what the media called it back then. Was it a kidnapping or an accident? The case was never solved, and the child is still missing to this day. What a painful memory. It makes my heart ache. Can I ask them more questions? No. She's watching Mr. Cheetah with her head cocked. Actually, she's looking at us. But... Ask about the missing child case. As the chairman, I there take full responsibility. But wouldn't you agree that the police should take most of the blame? After mobilizing so many investigators, they weren't able to find a single clue. What do you think, Tama? He has some personality issues, but he doesn't seem like an evil monster. It doesn't seem like he's lying either. Though, it is concerning that so many mysterious incidents have been happening around him. Are we done here? We've wasted enough time, I think. I'll be going now. He has his fingers in a lot of pop- f f f f father What? Oh. Because... He wants to marry... His daughter. <laughs> He's got the jerk still. 
Please, let me marry your daughter! I swear I'll give her a good life! I swear it to the heavens! So please, please, <laughs> give me permission to marry your daughter! Kizuna, I'll be coming home late again tonight. Yes. Goodbye, Father. Wait! Wait! Please don't ignore me! Kizuna, who is this? A stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait! We met at Matsushina Diner two days ago! You're that unemployed guy, Lian, right? Did you go to the unemployment office? Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow. That's a no. <laughs> In other words, you're a leech on society. I've never sucked anyone's blood. I don't think he was being literal. <laughs> no job, no education, no manners. Not to mention, you're drinking in the middle of the day. Oh, uh, but this is non-alcoholic. <laughs> and you dare call me father. To put it frankly, I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. How rude! I'm a human being, thank you very much. And I am not a pole vaulter! <laughs> In any case, stay away from my daughter. He's my new favorite character. Well, it's not like she would give you the time of day anyway. He's the new new MoMA for me. Uh, wait! Aww. Gizzy's dad must be really busy. I don't think that was the issue. Looks like he's feeling down, but his core remains undamaged. Still gonna go for it. Oh, we get a new angle here. There's a sandbox here. Kid! Oh, I can't, can't select them. Why are you looking at me like that? Well, Mr. Chieda. I've been here before, but this was my first time meeting Mr. Chieda. Though. <laughs> yeah, you got a weird vibe, eh? Oh, Lien. That guy from Matsushita Diner is kind of a weirdo, isn't he? He doesn't seem like a bad person, but. Just misguided. Well, Mr. Chieda. That is how my father always is. Mr. Ryuki, is my father related to the case somehow? It's still hard to say. I see. About Lien. He has been following me around since we met at Matsushita Diner two days ago. Great, a stalker. Considering how persistent he is, I may have to deal with him as a cop. <laughs> I should say, I'm not, I'm not approving of him as a character. He was so persistent that I allowed him to consider us friends for the time being. Seems like this girl's problematic in her own way. I'm not saying I approve of his methods, I just, he's just making me laugh within the context of the game. Like MoMA too, had some weird proclivities to say the least, but it was just, he's, I like the really bizarre characters. We meet again. Oh, it's you again. You seem to show up wherever I go. Maybe we're connected somehow. Not that I want to be connected with the dude. Oh, so I got pressing matters here. Uh, crazy would be zero, I guess six. Impish. I want to drink till the morning with Yui. Mm. Loving an impish. About Mr. Chieda. Uh, I totally crashed and burned today. All because this thing caused a misunderstanding. Uh, that wasn't the issue. Meeting the parents is a once-in-a-lifetime event. I wanted to calm my nerves a bit, but I'm definitely gonna get his approval next time we meet. That's some real positive thinking. Huh, damn right. If you aren't in it to win it, you've already lost. Maybe you can learn something from him, Ryuki. Don't even suggest it. But I was basically told that I'm useless just three days ago. Can't say it doesn't sting after hearing it so many times. Keep going, buddy! What happened three days ago, though? Remember how I said I got fired from my cleaning job? The place I worked. 
was Horadori Institute. Mm -hmm. What? I actually used to be a thief. I was so good at lockpicking, they called me the master of unlocking. I read that in your bio. I used my skills to borrow valuables many times. I've gone clean, of course. I got arrested, did my time, and I haven't stolen anything since. I was so stupid back then. And I honestly regret it from the bottom of my heart. But Chikara Horidori, the director, found out about my criminal record. And he fired me. He told me, a person who falls to those depths can never rise again. Damn it. It's just not fair. I've been working hard since I got out of jail. That's why I was like that back at the diner, by the way. To be honest, I was debating whether I should just kill myself. No! That's when an angel appeared before me. Me? <laughs> That's right, Kizzy. You! I felt saved. I wanted to give it my all and live again. You saved my life. Leon, please tell me one thing. Anything! You have not stolen a single thing since you were released? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I haven't. So you haven't used your lockpicking skills either? Huh? Huh? Oh, hold on! Don't tell me you broke into someone's house! N no That's not wrong, but... It's wrong! <laughs> it's true that I opened a lock and broke in somewhere, but I wasn't committing a That's crime! That's a crime! Ask about the break-in. Oh, the thing is, last night... Last night? You broke into a house? No. N oh. Not a house. Uh, I guess I have to say it. I broke in. To Horadori Institute. What? Oh, but like I said, it wasn't a crime. It was for an investigation. I was helping the police. The police. Strange. I didn't hear anything about that. You know I'm the police, right? Maybe it was unrelated to the HB case. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori oh, Institute. Oh, okay. We but did... in the end, we didn't find anything. We did a wink sink so with I him, right? So I didn't take anything either. Please believe me. Wait. Who asked you to do this investigation? I can't tell you that. It's supposed to be a secret. Secret? You just told us the whole thing. Anyway, I just want you to know I didn't do anything illegal. <laughs> At all! Very well. I will trust you, Leon. Oh, thank you! You really are an angel, Kizzy! Mizuki's like so sharp, eh? I keep wanting to ask her to like help Ryuki out. About Kizuna. As you know, I met Kizzy two days ago at Matsushita Diner. When I saw her, <laughs> It was love at first sight. I tried to get her attention. When Kizzy left the diner, I followed her. When she boarded a train, I spent all my money to get on the same one. When she went in the girl's bathroom, uh... I followed her. Ryuki, cuff it. But decided not to go inside. Even though she kept ignoring me, I never gave up trying to talk to her. And finally, in Yoyagi Park, she acknowledged me. Kizzy finally decided to accept my love. I told him it was acceptable to be strictly friends. So you gave in. You set a bad precedent there. However, I believe you promised you would be more serious about your job search. I do not associate with those who do not work, let alone be friends with them. Yeah, but I was here yesterday, so. It was indeed helpful of you to play with the children. However, that does not conclude your promise to me. I'm sorry. I feel like we're destined to be together, Kizzy. I want to stay by your side. Destined? My name. Leon is spelled L-I-E-N. In French, Leon means bond. Just like Kizuna means bond in Japanese. Well, well, how about it? <laughs> That's destiny, right? Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I agree. Oh, crap. I forgot to mention something important. I should have said this earlier, Kizzy. The order was supposed to be the other way around, but here it goes. 
Oh Kizzy, God! What? Please marry me. Wait a minute. Is that? I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Well, that's two glass Not slippers. Not an engagement ring, but an engagement shoe. I bought them using my entire life savings. Please, accept. I... I... cannot accept that. We would need to have a relationship for an adequate amount of time first. What? Kizzy? You mean... you'll date me? No, that is not what I meant by relationship. I meant that we would need to spend time together as friends. How long? How long? Hey, how long would we need to be friends? Jesus, well, they're really going into this. Don't give it time. Five years. No, perhaps six. If after six years you still feel the same way, then... Okay, got it. Then I'll take good care of this for six years. What? Seriously? What if you lose them? Or break them? Hey, I have a good idea. Oh? What is going on here? How long are we going to spend on this? There. I put the glass slippers in there. And the letters. I wrote out how I feel now in one of the letters. And in the other... I have written how I currently feel in that letter. This is a time capsule. Six years. We'll bury it here, then dig it out six years from now. If you still feel the same way as what's written in the letters in six years. Yeah, then you'll accept the shoes. Right, Kizzy? Yes, then... perhaps... Huh. You know, that is kind of romantic. I didn't know you had this sort of sign to you, Ryuki. Okay, I'm burying Wait. it now. Oh, I see. The idea. He came up with the idea. I was like, Mizuki said that. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Six years. Six years is a pretty long time. You sure you're still gonna feel the same way? Of course. My love is eternally undying. See ya. <laughs> huh? Kizuna. She did. What's wrong? Oh, that again. What? You know how dogs pee when they get excited? It's kind of like that. Uh, I don't get it. Just pee? Just watch. Let us begin. She Start can... the music. You gonna dance? It's the same, just the same song. Bad's gonna happen. 
She's gonna get cut in half. What the hell? What? I thought so two days ago, too. You really are good at dancing, Kizuna. Thank you. Yeah, that was seriously amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I need to get going now. Yeah, see you later. Have a nice day. Good luck with the investigation. I feel like we should have asked him more about why he was breaking into the institution. Like, we probably should have followed up on that. We didn't get anything useful for the case. There are some things that I've been thinking about, though. The biggest one being... The goal was to get inside yeah. the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. But in the end, we didn't find anything. A hidden room inside Horadori Institute? We have to look into this. After hearing about something like that. Well, I suppose so. So... Alright, our next destination is? Yeah. Horadori Institute. Uh, 1820, February 13th, Wednesday the 13th. No one here. It's past business hours, so they probably all left. But the lights are on. Maybe someone forgot to turn them off? The entrance wasn't locked, too. I think someone forgot to lock it. There weren't any guards around. Must be on vacation. No, oh, fine. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, you're right. Something is clearly wrong. It's as if someone is inviting us inside. Uh oh. A trap, maybe? For who? And why? And when? No one could have known we were coming here. Then maybe it's for welcoming someone other than us. Who's there? The masked Ryuki, lady. Ryuki, living organism detected. They're alone. They must be hiding somewhere. I don't see anyone hiding. There! There! Oh. Oh. Uh. Am I supposed to be able to see them? A little buy a little color there? Yeah. There you are. <laughs> what hey, could that be? I know you're there. I wonder Coming who that out. is. Could be anyone, really. Oh, it's Komeji. Komeji. Ko How do you pronounce his name? Komeji. What is he doing here? I had no idea when I saw that skeleton. Why are you here? Did you unlock the entrance? Shoma! Why are you here? Who knows? I don't even know myself. Before I knew it, I found myself here. Uh, maybe my brain is messed up from all the drinking. Did you unlock the entrance? What do you mean? It was unlocked when I got here. He's clearly locking. He's obviously hiding the real reason he's here. Now, how to make him talk? He may be hiding something on his person. 
Let's find out. X-ray. A gun! Is that? Why does he have that? Kameji, what are you hiding in your pocket there? I... I don't know what you're talking about. It's no use trying to hide it. What you have there, it's a pistol, isn't it? Kameji, can you please tell me what's going on? Uh oh. Uh, he's just a little guy, eh? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> I can't help it. It's so, so bizarre. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> Armbar! What's going on here? I need answers! But he's completely hysterical. We won't be able to talk to him like this, and we can't wink sing either. We're only left with one choice. Ryuki, sing with him. Are we even allowed to, to sync? 710. Oh, boss is there this time. I thought we weren't a sinker anymore, though. We're uh, just a regular police. All right, I think I get the picture. Komeji was in Horadori Institute for some reason, and he even had a gun on him. So you want to find out why? That's right. Okay, the preparations are complete. Let's get right to it then. Ryuki, I'm sure you already know this, but the time limit inside Somnium is... Six minutes, I know. Okay, then let's begin. Giving birth is extremely painful, and men can't handle the pain. One day, a genius scientist created a device that could share the pain of giving birth with the father. His first test subject was his wife. His wife was about to give birth, so he decided to try out the device. But for some reason, he felt no pain. Something wrong with the equipment? He had the power to 10%, then 20%, until he reached 100% right when she gave birth. And right after that, his assistant right next to him dropped dead from pain. Tama, 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 hot tamale! Wow. Well, what's the result? 143, too bad. No grand champion for you. Oh, uh, why? That wasn't funny at all. I think you're more suited for an assistant director position. Hey, assistant directors are the directors of the future. Don't underestimate me. Andy's Komeji, on the street. Shut up. What is it now? Oh, Komeji? Let's go. Today, we'll be walking around an area that's truly memorable to me. There just aren't rooftop amusement parks like this anymore, you know? A walk-around comedy show with Andy's Komeji. I didn't know he was on one of those. Wonderful! He isn't. This is just his dream. Dream in both senses of the word. It's his dream to have a show like this. Hmm... It's kind of pathetic. Tama, what are you holding in your hand? Hmm, what is this? A sketchbook? 
Well, anyway, we will, uh... Komeiji's stumbling over his words. The sketchbook is a cue card. Tama, you're an assistant director now. You should send him a message using the cue card. This calls for... Say something funny. You gotta break through to him. <sighs> I never intended on being an assistant director. That fine. Say something funny? What do you mean? What does that mean? That's... What's going on? Ryuki, we need to do our thing. Right. Do it, Tama. Somnium scan, activate! I guess we have to help him to not... not lose his dream like he did, uh... Before. Not get tongue tied there. Keep his career alive. What is he hiding? In this world, inundated with Yonaharu's ideals, find out the truth and get information on what he's hiding. Let's start there. If we're going to talk about Andy's Komeji, we can't miss that place. Let's follow him. Okay, then. It's my show, so how about I go to the next filming location? So the staff knows where it is. Then the crew chases me. 